This presentation is about using browser developer tools to debug web GUI. With the replacement of web GUI functionality based on dependency on the JRE plugin, there is an increasing number of features coded mainly using JavaScript. This requires a different kind of debugging since the Java console log is of no use. Instead, there are browser developer tools which can be used to obtain useful information about client-side issues. In this session, I will focus on the Internet Explorer F12 developer tool. For a first use case, let's look at a network capture from loading a web GUI filter and switching between filters. This is particularly useful if there is evidence that the web GUI server or other external data sources are taking a long time to respond to browser actions. Firstly, let's load an event viewer. Then from the uh, options, let's select F12 developer tool. And then click on the green, select the network tab and then click on the green arrow. Let's now test by selecting a, uh, a different filter. Perhaps a different view. And we see the network tab filled with data. We can also use the clear button here to uh, clear all entries if we want to restart our test. entries on navigate option here can be used if you uh, want old entries to be cleared in case the uh, screen redirects. After capturing we can press the stop button here and then we can press on the save and export button to uh, save a network data.xml file which can be sent to support. In the second use case let's look at capturing console output. This output is particularly useful for investigating browser errors or errors reported in the GUI. We load the F12 debugger as before. This time let's select the console tab. If there's any existing messages, we can click on the clear button. Let's now go to the event viewer again and um, do some more changing of filters, changing of views and we see the screen filled with data. We can use the quick filter buttons here to uh, filter on errors, warnings and information messages, but unless otherwise requested by support, I'd recommend you to capture all messages. Once you've finished the capture, you can select an item and right click. Uh, you can select to copy individual items or copy all. In this case, let's copy all, and we can then dump that to a text file. and that text file can then be saved and sent to support. For a final use case, let's look at profiling the UI responsiveness. Uh, this can be particularly useful when a user action causes high CPU usage on a client machine. We load the F12 developer tool as before, and this time let's select UI responsiveness. And we can click on the green arrow to start generating a report. So let's now perform some action in the GUI. Let's do a refresh perhaps. And when we finished our test, we click on the red box. So that stops the profiling and the report is automatically generated. So here we can check for high CPU usage and also look at more granular activities. We have the waterfall option here. We have the CPU utilization, which we can see across here. 
We could also filter, for example, to select only events which have a duration of more than one millisecond. Finally, we can save this as a, uh, a Diag session file, which can then also be sent to uh, support. And support can use this uh, import uh, profiling session option here to, uh, to review the analysis that you've done. Finally, two things to remember. Unless you have otherwise from support, the F12 debug log should always be sent in addition to a capture of the server-side logs using the uh, JSSM home UI bin console log collector.sh command. And you should also inform support of any time zone difference between your server and the client machine where the F12 output was collected.